in today's lecture we will discuss about ek diagram where e is the energy and k is the propagation vector or you can say that wave vector from the cronning penny model we came to a conclusion that e is directly proportional to k square means it is parabolic but of discontinuous nature that means there is a discontinuity in the energy when when there is discontinuity at k is equal to n pi by e where n is equal to 1 2 3 up to so okay here you see a figure of e versus k this is our extended zone now what is extended zone so in ek diagram we have three type of zones first one is periodic zone we all know that our potential is periodic okay so this what is this show it shows that our relationship is periodic in nature with discontinuities okay discontinuity occur at plus pi by a plus 2 pi by a similarly minus pi by a minus 2 pi by a further minus 3 pi by a okay now see that our relationship is periodic so we can restrict yeah we can reduce our diagram to only this reason okay because it is periodic in nature if we know our result our values in this reason only in this reason then we can definitely know about the values in other reasons okay so our diagram can be reduced to minus pi by a to plus pi by e reason see here you see the reduced zone this dotted portion shows our previous graph Our periodic zone. See, here I reduced my e versus k relation to minus pi by a to plus pi by. E. How I reduced? I doesn't make this portion. Doesn't made this portion. Okay. I just only made minus pi by a to plus pi by a portion. that's why this is known as reduced zone okay now minus pi by a to plus pi by e reason is known as first brillion zone okay now see if i want to extend my diagram then what is it's actually look like this is the extended zone diagram now see here i doesn't make my diagram like this instead of showing the diagram in this way i take this form okay what is this mean it means i extend my reason that's why this is known as extended zone okay now see these k values define boundaries of first second brillion zones from k is equal to pi by a to minus pi by a there exists the first brillion zone okay the second zone consists of two part 
वन इज माइनस पाई बाय ए टू माइनस टू पाई बाय एंड सेकेंड इज पाई बाय ए टू टू पाई बाय ओके एज वी नो डेट देर इज डिसकंटिन्यूटी सो दिस रीजन शोज द फोर बिडन एनर्जी दिस रीजन शोज द फोर बिडन एनर्जी ओके नाउ ईच पोर्शन ऑफ द कव इज नोन एज बैंड वट इज मिट दिस इज अ कव 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 दे ओल आर नोन एज बैंड ओके नाउ वट इज द करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ कव जो ये हमारे पास कव्स हैं सपोज ये मेरे पास कव है इसके क्या करेक्टरिस्टिक्स हैं दे आर होरिजोंटल एट द टॉप एंड बॉटम वट इज मीन दे आर एक्चुअली लाइक इन दिस वे होरिजोंटल एट टॉप एंड होरिजोंटल एट बॉटम ओके दे आर पैराबोलिक नियर द टॉप एंड बॉटम विथ करवेचर इन द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सी एंड दिस पोर्शन दे आर पैराबोलिक इन नेचर विथ अपोजिट डायरेक्शन इट इज टूवर्ड्स ओके अपोजिट डायरेक्शन नाउ थर्ड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ए डी स्केयर ई बाई डी के स्केयर इज पॉजिटिव इन द लोअर पोर्शन ऑफ द बैंड एंड नेगेटिव फॉर द अपर पोर्शन वट इज डी स्केयर ई बाई डी के स्केयर इट इज दबल डायरेवेटिव ऑफ द E by K relationship, okay. Here one thing is that, as we know that each curve in the E K diagram is known as bend, so this is known as valence bend, and this is known as conduction bend. Okay. In most of the books, you see the diagram of E K in this way because we are interested only in this portion. Why not in other portion? Because it is periodic in nature. If we study only this portion, then we can automatically know about the others because it is of periodic. It repeats after interval of times. Okay. If you have any doubt regarding to EK diagram then you can ask me in comment section